a bit mere than I can chew me Nacho Novo no longer on on back to fog football and the, the, mo the most highly anticipated boxing match of the century between Kaz Milligan and Nacho Novo is off and you may be wondering why is it off because the two of them between themselves couldn't draw a dime and is it any wonder they couldn't get anywhere near enough tickets for the hydro I don't even know what they were charging right that's irrelevant it's off I'm going to assume it was probably like 50 quid. That's probably for the cheap seats. Doesn't really matter, right? Doesn't really matter. But let's just look at it in perspective, right? I'm not saying Nacho Novo can't handle himself. I reckon he could. But this match would just draw more. Because Kaz Milligan is a lot younger than Nacho. He's like half his age, right? If, you know, if this was Kaz Milligan against like a, a current Rangers player or a Rangers player that had just left, like a like an Alfredo Morelos, I think it would have done better. But it's like the fact that Nacho Novo, I mean, you know, he's getting close to 50 these days, had that heart condition. I mean, I wouldn't want to see Nacho Novo in there on the ring. I'm not saying he couldn't beat him, but realistically, you know, fortune favours the, the younger guy, even though it's fortune favours the brave. And as much as I would love Nacho Novo to battle this guy, it's not going to happen. Um, pretty much disagree with everything that Guys, Milligan has ever said, right? But I remember his TikTok came on a couple of weeks ago and he was talking with Shea Adams, like, Scotland, number nine, you're fish. And I was like, yeah, I can get behind that. Calling Shea Adams pish. I can absolutely see that. I can definitely understand that. He said, get Lauren Shankland on as well. I was like, huh, is this me? Sounds about right, but yeah, I mean, the fight's off. I think it's good. I mean, it's a good for all involved. I mean, they're missing it in a payday at the end of the day. But, I mean, I think Kaz Milligan would have won. I just, I don't know. I, I, remember, I remember I made the fed and I called Nacho Nova a bit of a diddy man. I mean, he was a small man, but, you know, if it was a all-out war street fight like Rocky Five, you know, Balboa against Tommy Gunn out in the streets, I would probably give Nacho Nova the nod. But like an actual boxing event with proper rules and shit. I don't know. That favours the guy with more stamina for me. And I think that's why um, I would have probably went with Kaz Milligan. But no, it doesn't really matter. Whether or not I'd go with Kaz Milligan as the wind is picking up here. Um, because it's over. It's no longer happening at the Hydro. But the question is, what next? Well, none of them have really... I mean, Kaz Milligan tried to blame it on Nacho. But the reality is, like, more people know who Nacho Novo is. Even if like a younger generation more would know who Nacho Novo is and end of the day, right? You can blame Nacho Novo as much as he wants, but if any of them were worth a damn or any good, one of them would have single handedly have sold decent tickets. You know, I'm not saying they were completely sold at the hydro, but if Kaz Milliken was as good as he thinks he is at like superstardom, I think he would have sold it more like a decent amount of tickets to probably keep the effect going. You could use the little hydro, you could do, I don't know, you could use anything, any shitey, pissy arena they could definitely use, but for me, I'm kind of glad it's not happening. Maybe we could get a substitute Novo in there, maybe we could get CJ Novo 992 against Kaz Milliken. My money would be on CJ Novo. I've got faith in that guy to batter Kaz Milliken, but either way guys, the fight's off. Leave your thoughts down below and peace.